this is online ownership and we are running a tutorial on how to create your business page um, <clears throat> we have created step-by-step -step instructions on how to create it and after we've created this tutorial we'll be adding it which you can follow along on the um, actual page so it's onlineownership.com right so first things this is the company that we're going to be creating the business page for today new site new business called the London London Trading Group first thing we want to do um, I've already signed in with a Google account um, <clears throat> but your first step would be to go to google.com or .co.uk forward slash business um, this is the page and you want to say get on Google now you can see I'm already signed in but if you aren't signed in you can still complete this process but it will then ask you to either sign in at a later stage or to create an account you don't necessarily need a Gmail you can use your own email address and you can assign yourself a password which you would sign in with so the first things first is you're going to search search for the business now I've already just in a got it here to save time today rather than typing in so <clears throat> London Trading Group. There is, um, we we have a London Trading Group in Old Bond Street, but that is not the one we're looking for. Um, <clears throat> if we click search, we just double check that there is no previous um, unverified or unclaimed business page that exists for you. This is quite important because you don't want to create a duplicate of your business. So now that we're pretty sure that none of these are ours, we can select at the bottom, add your business. Um, same again, the name, it's obviously in the United Kingdom, street address. Um, I've already obviously done these just to speed things up. We want to add a second line to that, which is the actual office. Um, you do need these differentiators. Uh, you know, you don't want to say floor 12, for example, because there might be more floors. If you're in the States, sometimes you guys use suite. Um, so you could type in suite or just use the hashtag number, which is recognized as a suite number. Uh, obviously add in our postcode the main business telephone number and the category now <clears throat> let's be clear sometimes that the sometimes Google doesn't actually have every single category on the face of the earth you need to pick the nearest one that um, is is to you it might not be perfect but you need to pick the nearest one Google then when you start adding in um, the description of the business in your business page it will sort of machine learn what you have written uh, as a business description and also with the content on your attached website it will start to learn actually what you do so you may be a window manufacturer not a window installer for example and it will start to machine learn based upon the content that you have in your d description and in your website and it will ultimately then improve on your category uh, this category is there they are actual trainers but we don't have trainers in here so for my f initial category I'm going to say consultant um, and later on once we've created the page I will try and search for a secondary category in terms of that will look more towards um, uh, if it was education based or training based that if I can find something there now th this is <clears throat> this little tick box down here I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location if you are a home based business naturally uh, a lot of a lot of times people don't want their actual um, home address being shown um, and if you select this this will hide your physical address but will show your 
um, serviced, uh, you, you know, the area you're in. So it'll hide the address but show the area. And um, this is particularly useful for um, if you're a window cleaner, you don't obviously have people coming to your business address, you go to them. If you're a uh, delivery merchant or a plumber or an electrician and you don't actually have a physical address but you obviously travel to everyone else's addresses, this is what you must tick. Right, so we continue. Um, occasionally, uh, the um, it hasn't recognized the address first off, so it wants me to set the marker location. <clears throat> to do that, this is the building of City Point, um, and obviously we can just adjust it to. We can't say we can't pinpoint it onto floor 12, but you know we we put it there. If you are actually in a f building itself that has its own address that's not a on a different floor you can also switch to um, satellite to possibly give you a bit, bit better pinpoint accuracy try and put that right on your front door so now we've got it we've select done and continue what we're going to do now is we're going to say that you're authorized to manage this business uh, you are the owner or you are obviously authorized by the business to set up the page I am and we're going to continue right um, if this business had a bit more of an online reputation um, and there had been other uh, mentions of it online at that specific address you may also get the choice to verify by um, by phone and at which point you can either add in a landline or obviously which we already have done or a mobile for an SMX this um, Google does not believe has the authority um, in that sense that they trust that that business actually exists at that address and therefore they need they're going to send a postcard and um, they're going to send a postcard to that address the postcard generally takes about two weeks it's marked up saying obviously from Google you open it up it will have a pin code inside four digit pin code and you will log back in and add in your pin code um, we're going to say continue and verify later uh, so we can go through the process of creating the, the page. You could verify it now if you'd like to. Uh, I'm going to skip the tour. Um, now, or we, we, if we select the verified now, um, at any point, once you've selected verify, and this is quite important, do not change your physical address or your name these two things are what Google is actually trying to verify you for at that address if at any point in the two weeks that you know you can go in you can add posts you can add your photos you can tweak your description um, don't change your address or your name that will invalidate the pin code and you will need to re-verify it so now we have the basics here um, let's start by adding a logo the logos tend to be 250 by 250 um, <clears throat> I also add a caption of the actual name why not it's right let's go to our actual business pages uh, this is obviously like I said do not edit your name until you're fully verified and hopefully you shouldn't ever need to change it uh, your address don't change that until it's fully verified right we're going to add in our URL We already have the phone number in categories 
as I mentioned, we these guys are trainers. They are obviously financial trading, but they are trainers. So I just want to see if we have any training. Uh, we might need to do a little bit of searching around, which I won't waste your time with. Um, training center, uh, that sounds good, actually. Hours of operations. Right, the way this works is you can select the particular days, you can select uh, different hours. If I just wanted to do Monday, I could just do Monday and create a set of hours 9 to 5, for example, because on Tuesday, when I se select Tuesday, um, we might only open 10 to 4. So you can select multiple different points um, in there. I'm going to have it, obviously, Monday to Friday, and we're going to be 9 a.m., to 5 p.m. Uh, there's me thinking I'm so well prepared <laughs> um, that I that I don't actually have a <laughs> I don't actually have a, a bit of a bout. Um, Right, that was a bit of a cock up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this just for the minute, which I shouldn't have done. I should have prepared something properly. Uh, of course, these can be edited at any particular time. Now, um, What I would like to say is add a pretty good introduction uh, or um, description of your business, uh, especially if the main category, as I mentioned earlier, isn't exactly in, um, isn't precise. Uh, so you want to add a bit about there and obviously make sure that within your description that you do actually specify what you're doing. So if you're a window manufacturer and not an installer, just, you know, um, an introduction that we are a window manufacturers based in uh, we you know so be descriptive and precise you can interlink in here what I would come back later and add in here is a services page because they had those different sections on um, training for example they had different things uh, on training uh, let's say trading tools uh, and they and they had the specific sections um, I might come back and actually add the four little sections so daily video insights virtual trading floor trading tools and training and I will interlink those to those specific pages so that um, if a user happened to come onto our business page they read a description it's a great introduction and also we are providing an easier way for them to find the specific things that they're looking for of course so we'll save that and I will come back and um, tidy those up at another point um, we're done editing on that minute this is what your Google page will look like obviously I would like to change my cover photo um, it's always a good point just to um, to make it your own to brand to brand it yourself um, and that's going to be our cover photo uh, it's always good because branding as is really important um, and you can actually um, now this about section isn't quite live and that's why it looks like this it will look slightly different from once it's properly verified it will have the map it will have the opening times etc all live for you um, another thing you can do here is obviously manage your photos um, <clears throat> you can add an additional logo we don't need to we can add interior photos exterior photos photos at work uh, team photos and obviously 
additional photos in and about and around the business so I might add you know images of the trading um, you know some still shots of the trading video training um, team photos of when um, you know uh, we're holding we're, when when this business is holding seminars the more you fill in the you know the better it is so we've basically created our business page now um, obviously we need to start the process and um, there we are uh, this postcode will now be sent as it says there your business will appear unverified until you verify using the code uh, like I said it should take two weeks to arrive uh, at any point please do not change please do not change your name or the actual physical address you can go back in at any point you can add your photos you can amend your business description but don't change the name or the address until that postcode has arrived when the postcode has arrived you can either log in here and obviously click enter your code or you can actually follow the URL that's provided within the postcode which is um, google.com forward slash verify my business either or you will go in uh, and to to that one or into your business um, dashboard like this is and enter your code here uh, you can start uh, posting but of course that because this isn't actually visible at the minute within maps or search uh, potentially people may not um, you know may not find you and, and until then but you can start posting you can start sharing um, you can always start looking uh, at building your circles you know uh, you can search for um, other specific uh, institutions you may want to follow or other businesses that you know of already that you you know you have built a relationship with in other places anyway um, so that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions you can obviously um, <clears throat> connect with us uh, at online ownership the bottom of our page here you you can obviously connect with online ownership on um, on our business pages and um, you know if you have any problems feel free to drop us a line and give us a shout